Good afternoon, Board of Directors for Greenmark. Our team is excited to present to you today our marketing plan for our revolutionary sprayer, the Optimized Sprayer, as a high-tech tool that uses precision agriculture technology. This piece of equipment uses computer imaging, artificial intelligence, and photo recognition to identify and spray selected weeds. Additionally, with the decline in soybean prices and increase in herbicide-resistant weeds, there has been a reduction in producer profit margins. Greenmark, located in the heart of America in Kansas City with our marketing office, we will be able to service the needs of our producers. As the number one farm equipment manufacturer, we will be able to launch our products success successfully through our established dealer networks, as well as our positive brand awareness that has been established as a market leader. The optimized sprayer will be able to aid in American soybean producers with reducing their costs as well as reducing their herbicide use by up to 90%. Now Rudy will analyze the market for our optimized sprayer. In 2018, 89.6 million acres of soybeans were planted, making it one of the most prominent crops in the United States. Additionally, the soybean industry is worth over $40 billion and is expected to grow in the future. Of course, soybeans won't be the only thing growing. Per the International Survey of Herbicide-Resistant Weeds, there are now over 490 herbicide-resistant weeds in the United States. Weeds such as mare's tail, kochia, redroot pigweed, and mare's tail are both herbicide-resistant and especially harmful to soybeans. These kinds of weeds can cost farmers an average of 30 extra dollars per acre to treat. Our primary market research shows that 96% of surveyed farmers were very interested in cutting down on herbicide costs. From there, 87% said that they'd be willing to try a new sprayer if it could help them increase profit margins. These farmers who are willing to try new technologies are what we call platinum producers. Specifically, platinum producers are those who farm large acres of soybeans while looking to eliminate wasteful spending and increase profit margins. Platinum producers are more than just farmers. They're savvy business people who look to become innovators of new technology. The typical platinum producer farms at least 3,500 acres in selected areas of Illinois, Iowa, Kansas, Nebraska, Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, and Mississippi. These areas were chosen due to their high number of platinum producers and the abundance of herbicide-resistant weeds. As you can see, our market for platinum producers is very focused. Just 744 producers make up our year one market. And while this may seem small, these producers collectively grow over 5 million acres of soybeans. Expanding into years two and three, we'll see a healthy expansion of both platinum producers and acreage. Platinum producers will see a huge amount of producer value from the optimized sprayer's ability to save them on herbicide costs. Farmers with just 3,500 acres of soybeans can save upwards of $105,000 per year, and farmers with 7,500 acres can save upwards of $225,000 per year. Now, I'll turn it over to Noah for the competitive analysis. Thank you, Rudy. When looking at the competition, it's easy to see that the optimized sprayer stands out. It enters the market as the only sprayer in the United States with imaging technology to combat weeds. Innovations like these give farmers an advanced alternative to conventional sprayers while keeping familiar features farmers have grown accustomed to. The patented technology in the optimized sprayer protects against direct competition in the short term. There is, however, indirect competition from popular agricultural brands like New Holland, Amazon, and Challenger. In a crowded weed management industry, the optimized sprayer stands out in several areas. First and foremost, it is more expensive than any competitor. This is to compensate for revolutionary technology, build quality, and the savings provided to farmers through its features. Tank size is smaller than competitors because the optimized sprayer will reduce the amount of herbicide applied significantly. A smaller tank makes for a lighter sprayer and leads to fuel savings. Again, no other sprayer on the market features imaging technology or can apply more than two herbicides at one time, both of which result in up to a 90% reduction in herbicide costs. What the optimized sprayer has in common with the competition are features like auto steer, but this is where the similarities end and the optimized sprayer stands alone. 
Our SWOT analysis shows the optimized sprayer having several strengths. It features patented technology and is the first of its kind on the market. This creates high barriers to entry. Precise application of chemical reduces drift and improves efficiency in the field. It also significantly reduces the amount of herbicide applied. The optimized sprayer is easy to use. We believe that any farmer can quickly learn how to operate the optimized sprayer without lengthy training sessions. Our weaknesses include a high initial price for the optimized sprayer, skepticism of new technology from older farmers, and a lack of history with our technology due to it being brand new. There are several opportunities offered by the optimized sprayer. We can use our brand recognition and existing marketing abilities to promote our product. There is also a strong movement toward precision agriculture by farmers. The optimized sprayer has the potential to be used for other crops, which could open a new market for our product. Some possible threats include better technology being released in the future. In production agriculture, many farmers are brand loyal and may not want to switch to green mark products. Additionally, the price of soybeans are low, making the short run return on investment smaller than what it could be. And now here's Jacqueline to talk about the product. Thank you, Noah. The optimized sprayer is a pull-behind sprayer that attaches to the three-point harness of any mid-sized tractor. This revolutionary sprayer is the first of its kind on the market with its ability to identify and spot spray selected weeds. This piece of equipment is equipped with a folding sprayer boom, a patented pump, as well as a wiring harness with a cab monitor to control the system. It is equipped with 720 individual nozzles and cameras, which guarantees for extreme accuracy. The chemical storage unit is able to hold 15 different chemicals, allowing for safe space as well as increasing versatility. The patented pump works very closely with the computer imaging technology to identify the weed, mix the chemical, and apply it when selected. However, the wiring harness is the heart of this revolutionary system. It is constantly working with the camera, the pump, and the monitor to relay the information back to the operator so that it can better understand how the sprayer is working out in the field. Additionally, this optimized sprayer can cover roughly 87 acres per hour, as well as has a 98% kill efficiency. Finally, the optimized sprayer will be able to track performance in the field as it gathers information and then tabulates that data and relays it back to the producer so that it can better manage their herbicide program. Now I will turn it over to Colby for our business proposition. Thank you, Jacqueline. Next, I'm excited to share with you guys our strategy statement. Greenmark's optimized sprayer is the next generation, top of the line, weed management technology in today's ag industry. By using the optimized sprayer's visual recognition technology, our platinum producers will reduce herbicide costs by up to 90%, eliminate herbicide resistant weeds, and witness a reduction in chemical drift. All of these benefits will lead to drastically decreased variable input costs, increased sustainability, and most importantly, a more profitable crop for our farmers. To ensure our success, Greenmark has established five key planning assumptions. To begin, we are the first and only company to offer this groundbreaking technology. Secondly, our platinum producers already own mid-sized tractors that have everything needed to make for an easy hookup process. Third, our company has done some research and statistics show the need for our product to be extremely high. Fourth, Greenmark has established production, distribution, sales, and service facilities across America, and our sprayer has full financial backing from Greenmark. And last but not least, we plan for full product launch in the year of 2020. Greenmark's overall goal is to transform the soybean industry by giving our farmers what they need to finally do away with these herbicide-resistant weeds once and for all. To do so, we will inform our customers of everything they need to know about our sprayer, all while stimulating a profitable and reliable market for our future. To measure the success of this goal, we have set three major objectives, and those are to one, sell 19 optimized sprayers within our first year, two, achieve 94% customer satisfaction within our first year, and three, net 98,000 gross profit within our first year. And now over to Colin to talk about our plan of action. We will be selling the optimized sprayer exclusively to dealerships. 
Because of this, the wholesale price will be $350,000. And the list price to our platinum producers from these dealerships will be $430,500. While we do understand that this price is higher than most other sprayers on the market, the optimized sprayer's unique abilities and its cost-saving capabilities make it the best product for this price on the market. We will be launching the optimized sprayer in three specific regions. Our first region is a 72-county area in Iowa and Illinois. In year two, we'll extend into four more states with 54 counties in Nebraska, Kansas, Iowa, and Missouri. Year three will be our final push of 50 counties opening up operations in three new states, including Tennessee, Mississippi, and Arkansas, on top of more counties in Missouri. These regions have some of the highest soybean production in the country, and although that production is high, weed resistance has become a plague in those regions, making traditional spraying less effective than in the past. The high amount of platinum producers in this region make it the perfect place to launch the optimized sprayer. Now over to Cameron to talk about our promotions. Our main promotional tool will be personal selling. Our sales representatives will sell directly to the dealerships and we'll be hiring one new sales representative each year. Our sales representatives are imperative to help us achieving our goals because they are responsible for building rapport, selling to dealerships, and IDing new dealerships to sell to. We will leave the selling to the platinum producers up to directly to the dealerships because we believe that they are best equipped to handle these local clients. Additionally, we'll be offering a $1,000 bonus for each sales representative for every unit they sell to a platinum producer. We'll also have a wide variety of promotional gifts that we can offer to attract customers. These gifts will include anything from iPads to Carhartt jackets to a variety of season tickets to different sports teams, all to show our appreciation for our farmers. And we'll, in addition to our brilliant sales team, we'll also be hiring product specialists. Product specialists will be a one-stop shop for all things optimized sprayer. After a farmer purchases the sprayer, they can have questions or need assistance, they can go to a product specialist. We'll be hiring three new product specialists per year to account for expansion. Additionally, these product specialists will attend and host optimized days throughout the year. Optimized days are an opportunity for our platinum producers to learn about the optimized sprayer and its new technology. With these optimized days, the product specialist will be there to answer questions and promote the product. The optimized sprayer will also be a focal point to our traditional green mark days throughout the year. At both of these events, we'll have product demonstrations and other activities for the platinum producers. We will also be attending trade shows throughout our target region. Our platinum producers will have access to free tickets and all booth visitors will receive a promotional gift. Our product specialists and our sales representatives will be in attendance at these trade shows in order to promote the product and answer questions. We will also be partnering with the Soybean Association of all states in our target area. This will give Greenmark quick brand recognition and be able to promote our product even further. And we will be partnering with several local universities. These influencers will be able to promote our product to their followers and further answer questions and direct them towards Greenmark. Now, back over to Colin to finish up our promotion. Before the launch of the Optimized Sprayer, we will be sending media kits to several trade and goer publications in order to generate excitement about our product. Additionally, we will be sending advertisements and information about the Optimized Sprayer to identified platinum producers in our target regions. We will be informing them about the Optimized Sprayer, as well as inviting them to local trade shows and optimized days. Past this traditional marketing, Greenmark will have a website with a first-person view of how the Optimized Sprayer works. Cost-saving analysis, tutorials, and contact information will all be available on this user-friendly interface, making it easily accessible to all farmers. In to ensure that this website is as successful as possible, we will consult an expert on search engine optimization in order to get the optimized sprayer as the top search result, leading to more internet traffic and higher product awareness. We will also harness a pay-per-click online marketing strategy that will allow for more cost-effective advertising and again, more product awareness. We will also be utilizing the newer platform of social media. Through the creation of a YouTube channel and a Facebook page, this will allow us to post spotlights and tutorials about the optimized sprayer, as well as customer experiences and testimonials. And finally, at Greenmark, giving back to the community is essential to our business. We intend to donate $50,000 every year to local FFA chapters and 4-H programs. We chose these groups specifically because our research shows that these are the most important groups to our platinum producers as well as our employees. I'd now like to hand it over to Logan to talk about the financials. Thank you, Colin. 
With complex patented equipment, as well as the massive overall size of 60 feet, we realize that it will be, we will see sizable costs to manufacture our product. In fact, in the first two years, we anticipate taking a loss. Though this loss will not be small, it is justified as in our first two years, we begin commercially manufacturing our product as well as introducing it to the marketplace. Once we establish a stronger market presence, we believe we will be able to transform what we anticipate to be a negative 25% profit margin in year one to a positive profit margin of 20% by year three. We will generate our revenue by selling the optimized sprayer to affiliated Green Mark dealerships at a wholesale price of $350,000 per sprayer with a recommended retail value of $430,500. This will allow, this will create an $80,500 potential profit margin per sprayer for our affiliated dealers. Realizing high manufacturing costs and relatively low units sold in our first two years, we believe that our promotional budget will account for nearly 16% of our overall costs in the first two years. This number nearly doubles in year three as to 30 in nearly doubles in year three to be 30% of our overall cost as we see a massive increase in sales and revenue. Taking a closer look at our promotional budget, you'll see a high focus on personal selling. In fact, in the first year, it accounts for just over 50% of the total budget, and that only grows in years two and three to 60 and 63%. Another area of high focus for us is public relations. Public relations, pu yeah, public, I'm sorry. Public relations will receive between 25 and 27% of the total budget for the first three years. And finally, we will distribute the rest between advertising, uh, direct marketing, and sales promotion. We believe that our promotional budget will set us up in the best way possible to reach our target market while also achieving our goals and objectives that we've set for ourselves in the first three years. Next, I'd like to turn over to Christian to talk about monitoring and measuring. Thank you, Logan. Our monitoring and measuring system aligns with our company's commitment to total quality management. We will work our way through success by focusing in on our clients, improving and preparing for the second generation sprayer, and also by keeping track of our growth, both in our company and industry, and finally, by keeping our employees invested in the product. With this new technology of the optimized sprayer, we will monitor and measure frequently. Referring back to our objectives and goals, if we exceed our expectations of selling over 19 sprayers, we will then increase production capacity. If we fall short, we will reevaluate our target market and marketing techniques. Once we earn our $98,000 in gross revenue, profit, excuse me, we will then go ahead and invest into the second generation sprayer. If we fall short of this, we will then push personal selling efforts even further. Finally, we continually work to satisfy our customers by building a st strong, long relationship with them. If we fall below this 94% customer satisfaction rate, we will reach out to them to gain a better understanding of the situation and fix it quickly. Now back to Jacqueline to wrap things up. Thank you, Christian. As you can see, the future of herbicide-resistant application is in the optimized sprayer. This revolutionary piece of technology allows us to aid soybean farmers while also creating a new market for Greenmark. We are confident that not only will we be able to decrease herbicide-resistant weeds, but also allow for higher yields and increased profits. Thank you, Board of Directors. We will now take any questions you have. Well, I guess I'll go first again, but first of all, congratulations um, for making it this far. It's a big honor to be here. Um, you've had a couple gauntlets to go through, so we're going to run you through the third gauntlet. It's um, so one thing that, uh, it, this sounds like a very technical product, right? Um, one thing that I didn't hear, I don't believe, maybe one time one person spoke of this word, is the word agronomist. And I think that in the technical sales uh, level of this, especially introducing a new product, why didn't you lean more on agronomists? I would say though, I do acknowledge we didn't um, use the word agronomist, but I would say that that role is taken primarily by our product specialists. So they would not only serve as like a technician 
for the software, but they would all, or for this product, but they would also be able to help with those needs, and they played a key role in building this product and the research with it. So I think that um, though we don't use the word agronomist, that would be absorbed in the product specialist's role. I want to just do one quick follow-up question. How sure. many product specialists are going to be agronomists? I would say that we don't use agronomists. Um, I think in an assumption we made, if a lot of times we see that if there's an issue with standing weeds in fields, um, producers consult their seed companies and their chemical dealers. And so as an equipment dealer, we would like to, I guess, kind of steal some of that action. And that, we think that would build, I guess, a stronger rapport with our customers and trust. So we wouldn't necessarily have any full-time agronomists, but hopefully this machine, or a goal for us with this machine is to reduce the need for producers to have agronomists with the built-in technology and the algorithms we have in this machine. Okay, thanks. I'm gonna follow up on Marvin's, uh, especially because of the technical nature of this, and you've got a pretty heavy competitive set against this product. Um, even though it's a small geographical area, but still talking about 72 counties, and I didn't say how many dealerships were represented in that 72 counties, but one salesman for a brand new product introduction into a market as competitive as this seems to be real short-sighted. Can you, two things, number one, can you explain why you're only going with one salesperson in this marketplace? And the second thing on the financials is I don't see where the increase of sales are reflected in the financials. Can you explain that for me as well? Uh, sure. So starting with um, one person. So our goal where we in our standpoint is we're selling to the dealerships. And so um, whether the since those dealerships weren't announced, there's about three dealerships per uh, target market on average, I would say. And so with one person, we feel that they can adequately reach these, um, I guess, these networks. And so could you repeat the second question about the financials? So you said you're gonna increase one salesman per year every year, so third you'll have three salesmen, but in your financials, I don't see where that's, that increase as 100 and some odd thousand for salary plus bonuses mm -hmm. is reflected in the, in the, salary, in the uh, financials. Can you show me where you're reflecting those additional salespeople within your financial numbers? I, don't, I didn't see that reflected in there. Oh, it, seems so, like it's a, it seems like it's a static number across. Yep, so that would be in our uh, promotional budget. Could you guys go back to the slide? Yep, yeah, so um, personal selling is there, and so that's where that's represented. So it's on, on your, the top line. You got sales on your promotional budget. Okay. Uh, yes. Um, so, <laughs> go ahead, Jenna. <laughs> so I want to go back to your platinum producers, and you talked about 3,500 acres plus. Um, not all farmers are created equal. So you may have somebody that may have 7,500 acres, but they are not an early adopter. They're not open to technology. And you didn't really talk about how you were doing that segmentation within. It was kind of like if they've got this many acres, they're good business people and they're, they're going to jump on something like this. How are you sorting through those? Well, um, you see, when we found the number for platinum producers, um, it comes from Greenmark. So the thing is, all of the, uh, the people who are selling it, the dealers, already have these established relationships with the platinum producers. So we've gotten their names, and that's how we figured the number of platinum producers, and that's where we come up with the number of 744. But in addition to that, um, so it doesn't matter uh, whether, you, we just use that as a guide, whether you have 3,500 or 7,500. Somebody who wanted to buy it who has more or less acreage is certainly welcome to buy it. And um, uh, we would, be happy to serve them with our product specialists. Right, but that helps you target and speak to them correctly. Mm -hmm. So if all you know is they have X number of acres, how do you speak to them to drive this product? Well, Are you, you see, going to do yeah. research? Yeah. Well, at the end of the day, uh, when it comes to the sales, like, it's the, gre it's the dealers who are doing those kinds of sales. So they'll be able to customize the sales pitch. You see, we only sell to dealers, and then the dealers sell to the producers. So, so the you're not communicating to producers at all? We are with the product specialists, but that isn't sort of like a, they're not selling the product. So product specialists would be able to sort of come up with a custom sales plan for um, somebody who had, per se, 2,500 acres of soybeans. Then why are you spending money on websites and direct mails and that sort of thing because you just said you don't talk to the producers the specialists do and the dealers do 
So why are you spending money on the other marketing tools if you don't know how to talk to them specifically? Well, the reason why we're spending money on this is we find that we are the main company. We're Greenmark. We're coming out with this product, and it is important to us to be able to back our dealerships. So that is why we're spending money on this, because we don't expect them to go out there alone with our product and be able to just try to come up with all the marketing materials and explain it to themselves. With a new product like this that has a ton of technology behind it, as you know, we think it is so important to be able to have that strong network behind them that we can help those dealers who are being able to sell that. So yes, we want to have that website available to our dealers. We want to have those promotional products for them because we find it very important to have their back during this time, especially as they're introducing something new. But we also realize we need them just as much as they need us because they have those personal relationships already. So they know the farmer better than anyone. They're the locals who live in that community. So we're going to work together to help these farmers get the most producer value. Okay. The other question I have is it has the smallest tank size of the competitors and you can put 15 products in it. How often do you have to refill that? I mean, how far will you get across a field before you've got to stop and that's, top off? That's a great question. So um, our estimates are that you would use 90% less herbicide than our competitors. And so with that being said, that we would be able to spend more time in the field than with a traditional tank by far. Because when you're broadcast spraying like in a traditional setting, you're gonna just completely empty the tank. And so this works kind of similar to like a, a, a Coke machine or a pop machine at like a Taco Bell. So if you want a Pepsi, you've got the water in the tanks and then it's only gonna inject a small piece of syrup when you do, you know, when you want your Pepsi. And so that's how that works. And so I guess, an unquantified answer is you will last longer um, because you're using 90% less herbicide than traditional spraying on average. Uh, tell, help me understand a little bit how you might overcome any objections from a producer who has a lot of corn and a lot of soybeans and you're asking them to spend $400,000 plus on a sprayer that can be used on one crop versus a sprayer that could be used on multiple crops? Right, that's a great question. So with this product, we don't touch on it because we're focusing primarily on the soybean producers because there's a bigger issue there with the re weed resistance. But with this, you can use this on corn and other crops because weed resistance is, um, or sorry, herbicide resistance in weed is, weeds is a big problem and it reflects the same way in corn as it would in soybeans. The only issue would be that you wouldn't be, you would only be able to use this product until corn's probably in a V5 stage. Um, so that's why we really push the soybean. But also, if you can attack those weeds early enough after they emerge, then your likeliness to have to go back over and readdress that issue goes down significantly. So I would say that if there was any pushback of that, you would say that you can use it on corn, but the bigger producer benefit is gonna be in the soybeans. So you guys um, did a nice job of setting up what the equipment competition was, so I appreciated the details you went into with that. But another side of the competition, um, in my mind, would also be custom applicators, and so custom sprayers. What do you guys know about that marketplace? Um, what's the trend within farmers about doing their own spraying versus custom sprayers? And then how does this product either fit there or not fit there? Yeah, we, we've had many discussions and done research on that, and the reason we don't include those, uh, the custom applicators in our first three years is we feel like this is kind of a sensitive product. It's changing the nature of what spraying is, and so we want to target our producers because we want them to get the most value, and we want to have that relationship. We do recognize that that's a big market, the custom applicators, but in the first three years, we think that farmers will be more uh, apt to take this product and others because we do recognize that we will spray less acres an hour um, but an increase in increased accuracy but these dealers or these custom applicators they make their money in acres so the more acres they can cover in a day the better so that's why we targeted them but in the future we could see with improved technologies getting into that market does that answer your question awesome thank you so much